Hey everyone, this is Zuthurus and welcome to Let's Build La Floria, episode 30. So, on this one we're going to be finishing up the last bit of little area we have in terms of farmland. And there's going to be two kind of interesting buildings going out here. I also did a bunch of kind of sculpting off camera, as you can tell. The This building, which is actually going to be the butcher um, slaughterhouse so that's kind of the why it has kind of a weird shape you bring the animals in through this way kill them back here and then process it and then basically have this yard to uh, skin it and take that to the tailor or whatever you would do at that point um, some extra farming plots and then this building I was trying to think of kind of a, a special building that could go out here and it might end up being some sort of observatory um, that was an old suggestion and I really like the suggestion and we're, I'm going to see if I can't build it with our current blocks most uh, most likely not but I'm just going to attempt it because I think it'll be a fun thing to do and we'll just go ahead and kind of jump right in on this over here. So there, there's uh, there needs to be a ramp, of course, to let the animals in. And to do so, I think we need the two by one ramp. Like so this way you can lead the animals in and then uh, get rid of them out the back area here yeah I think here, here here's a good spot and we'll even put I think staircases on either side of it makes it look a little bit more interesting obviously this is used to get things in and out that are heavy and then staircase is just normal foot traffic Over here we'll have just kind of the main foot traffic entry. Kind of finish that shape off. And so this I'll probably use a wooden kind of structure because it's kind of a uh, I don't know, you, you can't have stone for everything, and it's just, I think it's a nice change of pace to have a first floor that has the wooden structure that'll turn into partially a stone structure later on. Let's see that bring this side over as well and then from there we can go back to the stone and I need the doorway that'll fit in side an even block area Just like that. That looks fine. And I'm lagging. That was weird. I've, I've noticed here recently that the terrain draw distance, I don't know if they uh, changed some of it to make it to where other people can easily run the game. I mean, you know, that's always nice, but if you look at the terrain, it just starts melting pretty much. Like my tower right there looks like it's floating for me. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but it looks a little weird. And then as you get closer to it, it loads in and looks nice, but you just have to get, you know, really close and then it'll become flush. It's just uh, a thing I guess to work on once it's a little bit more optimized. Also off camera, I was able to drag a catapult from the workshop all the way up and out through the city when I was a little worried that I might not be able to do that with the size of the road and how big the thing is 
but the new drag drag option um, helps a lot with that so you know I was able to get it uh, fairly quickly treat this almost like a loading deck loading and offloading there and as per the usual we'll fill it in and then start adding details as we go let's see how do I want to kind of divide up just the initial line waiting to be slaughtered and then pulled into this room to get butchered um you know i think i'm just gonna have to do some plain old wood woodwork for this unless i can just kind of make a this shape to act like a no no i don't like that We'll just get rid of it. I'll have to use timber to make kind of my own custom fence, I think. That's a good height. So we want, I think, a gap of four. So two on each side of this center line. Should leave a nice gap there. An animal probably wouldn't be able to fit through it thinking about it. But oh well. Can't be perfect all the time, I don't think. So. That's how that looks. It looks okay. I built better things, I think. Um, in here, I guess we just need some tables for processing and then a bunch of stuff for storing uh, tools and that sort. So we'll actually put some tables, I think like this. This this will look pretty cool. If I do that, you get a lot of workspace and over here we'll probably just put some tools. could also a hanging room would be nice I think so the meat can just kind of hang up and be stored I might do that on the back end here so if I can put two windows there and there copy one of these blocks for a quick foundation yeah I know it's a little weird that they would have to like walk outside to access this area but it's basically just a store shed I don't think it would be too bad just like that and throw in the double door center there there you go, that's that's the storage room in terms of hanging the beef once it's done. And of course I might just put like string up some hooks or something and have it just hanging around so you know the purpose of the room. Uh, so actual shop would cut the meat up. Let's throw some more tables and make this almost look clerical. So people can order specific cups of meat here.
Okay. That one looks interesting. At least. Kind of walk in, you have counter space. You can see them actually working and doing their job. Make sure they're not doing anything they shouldn't be doing to your food. Just put, I guess, some makeshift count cabinets up here. Like that, and over here, maybe. One on each end of these tables, I think. Then we need... I guess we'll need something like this. We just had to kind of start throwing details around. I'm kind of rambling on this episode. I am a little tired. Um, work was not the most enjoyable thing today. And I didn't get started on this until probably 11 o'clock Eastern time. So it's kind of a long day and I'm trying to wind down and hopefully I won't pass out. Let's see, okay, that's okay. I think here we'll just use these pillars to allow us to build the ribbing for the roof. That's going to go there. out all the way should mm, guess we'll have to stop it or that uh, why can't I place you now sometimes it just doesn't like to recognize that you can place a block in areas. It's almost it looks workshoppy, but I guess it is in its own sense a workshop. I might not get to the observatory today. I'm building rather slow. So why don't we just throw as much roof as we can possible so I can try and wake up okay just like that and there a different shape of a building than normal. It's really lanky. And then finish touch that. So the roof actually seals and there you go. This is kind of some type of butchers, I guess. I didn't look at any pictures, which I probably should have. It would have probably came out a lot better in terms of shape and uh, the usage of space, but oh well. I've, I've pretty much winged every single structure you see. I mean, like I didn't look at anything for a reference, 
except for just what I pictured in my head of what it might look like. So here we'll just uh, put up some racks, I guess. I think I want it to be sitting up here. That makes the most sense to me. Then I think I need one of these. Spindles that close together? Whoa! Perpetual energy! Okay. Has anyone ever seen this before? And have they tried to use it for anything? Can I even. Will these keep spinning? Well, that's a yes. Huh. Yeah, it looks weird. We'll just have that stop now. Bring back some timber. Shouldn't do what it just did. And these are basically to just signify that you can hang things at these locations. feel like attaching them. I think keeping them separate like that looks best. So there you have the drying room or hang room, I guess. If that's even what it's called. I don't know the proper butcher terminology. I'm not a butcher. I'm, I'm a guy that plays video games and puts it on YouTube. That's, that's what I do in my free time. Anything special to copy off of these things? I wonder. Nope. Need more details and clutter, I think. You know, really, really make it look like it's being used for something at least. Okay. I think, uh, yeah, that's that building done. And I've already rambled on for 20 minutes. So, sorry if this was a little long and, and drawn out for just one building. I'm gonna go ahead and do the observatory off camera 
in the morning. I think I'm actually just about to go pass out. And I'll go ahead and upload this now. So, yeah. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's episode. Hopefully it'll be a little bit more interesting. And I'll see you guys in the next one.